Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Detecting anomalies in data sets has broad applications in a lot of domains, such as fraud detection for credit cards, fault detection in safety critical systems, and network intrusion detection for cybersecurity. Due to its wide range of applications, the problem of anomaly detection has been thoroughly researched by industry specialists and academia alike, and several algorithms have been introduced for determining anomalies in problem settings. But there wasn't any data set or framework that was openly available which the proposed algorithms could be evaluated on a common ground. But that situation changed with the introduction of the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark by Numenta in 2015. It's an open source framework used to evaluate and compare various anomaly detection algorithms. So in today's video, we're gonna look at everything you need to know about Numenta Anomaly Benchmark from the data set to the scoring system. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. If you find it interesting, you can also let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. The Numenta Anomaly Benchmark. As I mentioned, the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark is a set of openly available, labeled data files and common scoring system to compare and evaluate different anomaly detection algorithms for detecting anomalies in streaming data. Now in streaming data, anomalies, which can also be referred to as outliers, are patterns that don't match with previous patterns of behavior for the given data stream. The Numenta Anomaly Benchmark has two major components, the labeled data set, and the scoring system. Each has been designed to create a perfect evaluation framework for various anomaly detection algorithms. So let's have a look at the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark dataset. For this benchmark to be the most efficient and helpful for the researchers, it needs to have real-world labeled data extracted from various domains. This kind of data is very important for comparing and evaluating, but this data type is rare. Along with some simulated data files, the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark includes real-world data with outliers that have known causes as part of the benchmark. Numenta has collected these data files over years of interacting with customers on resolving their problems related to anomalies. So for example, the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark version 1 dataset consists of 58 data files, each containing 1,000 to 22,000 data instances for an overall 365,551 data points. Numenta set out three main requirements for the Numenta Anomaly Benchmark dataset. First, there needs to be a variety of streaming data anomaly types. So for example, having both both true system failures and planned shutdowns. Different behavior is displayed by different anomalies, and it's crucial to be able to test for as many as possible. There needs to be a variety of data metrics spread across domains and real world applications. For instance, a delay by a second in heart monitoring data could be critical, but the same delay in location tracking data might not be. The Numenta Anomaly Benchmark dataset includes different metrics, ranging from IT CPU and IoT sensors to network utilization from social media activity to web servers. Data files without anomalies can also be found in the dataset. And last but not least, the dataset must include challenges in terms of detecting anomalies in streaming data. These challenges may include noise or establishing new patterns. Now let's have a look at the scoring mechanism. At the top level, an anomaly detector is responsible for doing two major things, accepting data input and flagging anomalous instances. Conventional scoring techniques give credit only during the detection of a correctly identified anomaly, but not for early anomaly detection. It's evident that these techniques don't work the best for anomaly detection in streaming data. So what is the ideal way to score anomaly detections? While creating the benchmark, Numenta defined the perfect anomaly detector as one that works in real time, detects all anomalies present in the streaming data, is fully automated across all data sets, detects all anomalies as soon as possible, and gives no false positives. The benchmark puts forth a new scoring mechanism, one created to recognize the algorithms that show those traits. The new scoring mechanism includes three main components, anomaly windows, a scoring function, and application profiles. So let's have a look at anomaly windows. With the goal of embedding the value of early detections, Numenta Anomaly Benchmark leverages anomaly windows to recognize and assign values to true positives, false negatives, and false positives. Anomaly windows are defined ranges of data points that surround each labeled anomaly instance. And the benchmark offers credit to the true positives found within the anomaly window and eliminates any true positive in the window. 
If an anomaly is detected outside of a defined window, then it's marked as a false positive and receives a negative score. An empty window is marked as a false negative and receives a negative score too. The anomaly windows are big enough to consider early detections as true positives, but not big enough to consider random and irrelevant subsequent detections. The scoring function. The scoring function is bound to the anomaly window. You can consider the function marking positive or negative points to an algorithm's detections. Positive scores are given for detections within an anomaly window, while negative scores are given for detections outside the window. The scoring function considers the value of time by giving more points to early detections within a window. Application profiles. Just like anomalies are different across industries and applications, the value of false positives and false negatives are as well. Think of a scenario where a hospital is tracking EKG data on a patient. A false negative could lead to a heart failure. On the other hand, a false positive could lead to sending a nurse or doctor to check on the patient's condition. Now it's clear that a false negative is much more costly and possibly much more catastrophic than a false positive. Now think of a scenario where a data center is overseeing individual servers. Here, false negatives won't have a fatal effect. The system's designed to be fault tolerant, so the failure will have little to no damage on the system. On the other hand, a lot of false positives could cause a serious amount of disruption. So there we have it. The introduction of Numenta Anomaly Benchmark marks the initial temporal anomaly benchmark to offer a balanced and repeatable environment for evaluating and comparing various anomaly detection algorithms in real time. The wide availability of such a benchmark makes it possible to easily understand the strengths and weaknesses of various anomaly detection algorithms. Over the next few months, it can be expected that researchers use this benchmark to share their results and create new algorithms designed particularly for real-world streaming apps. Once again, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.